Hi again everybody, um, the weather is good today these days. I hope that you feel better or you feel blessed. Okay everybody, right now um, our lesson is a reading writing and our book is, you know, uh, Our World and open your page 120. And right now in this page we will learn chronological narratives. How can we write about chronological narratives? Look, everybody, and let's read together. When you write a chronological narrative, you describe when you have when each event happens. And uh, to make the story more interesting, you can set the scene and create suspense. What's the suspense, everybody? And uh, later, I will describe it. To express the sequence of events, you can use time expressions such as ego afterwards immediately suddenly or then okay everybody what's the suspense right now i am i'm trying to explain suspense is when a writer makes the reader feel excited because he or she doesn't know what will happen next and uh, a state or feeling of excited or anxious maybe uncertainty about what may happen suspense like that and time expressions um, afterwards means later of course uh, I can say later um, and then immediately at once instantly and how can I explain with a ex uh, example hmm. I rang immediately for an ambulance yes you can understand I, I think suddenly quickly and unexpectedly um, suddenly is an adverb and yes you can use this uh, time expressions when you are writing your chronological narratives right now uh, which time expressions is not using narrative how does the writer create suspense and then we will find it um, and search for a gorilla let's read together a few years ago the explorer Mireya Mayor visited a jungle in Africa because she wanted to learn more about female gorillas. She joined some other scientists who were studying a male called Kingo. Together they followed the gorillas everywhere. It was incredibly hot and the trail was difficult. First, there were bees in her face. Then, she had to hide through mood for hours. At one point, when she was hiking through mud, she fell. She grabbed a tree, but she didn't know that there were ants in the tree. Hundreds of ants fell on her head, and they were crawling through her hair. They crawled under her clothes and beat uh, her many times. It was horrible, but something amazing happened. Suddenly, she heard a female gorilla scream. She felt so excited. This was the female she wanted to find. She immediately forgot about bees, mud, and ants. Ran to find the gorilla. It was the it was one of the most exciting moments of her life. Yes, this is our chronological narrative. It's about a gorilla, and right now I want to explain some new words. For example, trail. What's the trail? Trail, um, how can I explain? Like a print, footprint, fingerprint, um, a mark or a series of signs or objects left behind. And mud, I think everybody knows, but um, soft, sticky matter resulting from the mixing of water and soil. And earth, do you know earth? I can use earth instead of soil again. Grab. Grab means grasp or uh, say suddenly and really um, and easily I can say catch. Crawl. Move forward on the hands and knees or by dragging close to the ground. And everybody, these are some new words. And um, today we are learning write a chronological narrative and narrative is a story. Chronological means in order that events happened. For example, I am going to tell you a story. Listen carefully. 
Once there was an explorer who wanted to find a new type of animal. First, she went to a forest far away. She looked all around the forest. Then she looked in a cave. She didn't find any new animals. But then she looked in a stream. She found a new type of frog. One more time. I'm going to tell you a story. Um, once there was an explorer who wanted to find a new type of animal. First she went to a forest far away. She looked all around the forest. Then she looked in a cave. And she didn't find any new animals. But then she looked in a stream. She found a new type of frog. Okay. For example, what happened first in the story? In this story. I can say the explorer went to a forest far away. What happened next? It's about chronological, chronological narrative. That's why I can explain, I can say, I can talk about it. What happened next? She looked around the forest. Then what happened? But important thing is then. Then what happened? She looked in a cave. What happened after that? She looked in a stream and found a new type of frog. I told the story in order that she, the events happened. When a story tells events in order to in order that they happen, it's a chronological narrative. That's it. Okay. Um, and everybody, for example, if the if the fire bell rings, we immediately go outside. Immediately means we do something quickly or straight away. And ego is used to say when uh, something was done in the past, two days ago, four days ago. For example, I ate an apple five minutes ago, like that. Why I, <coughs> why I can uh, explain, that's why um, in, when you are writing chronological narrative, you need to use, you should use ego time expressions. Ego, maybe suddenly, maybe immediately, maybe afterwards, and um, I gave some examples. Okay, and everybody have the important thing is suspense. Suspense is when a writer makes the reader feels excited because he or she doesn't know what will happen next, um, <clears throat> and that's why suspense is important thing in your chronological narrative. And everybody, uh, your homework, I, but, huh, um, last week I gave a homework to you, it's about, uh, it's about drawing a, drawing, according to the, according to the paragraph, according to the story, drawing a picture, but I didn't see any, anyone. Please, everybody, everybody, please send me. And right now for the weekend, I'm giving you one. You are going to write a chronological narrative, of course. Um, and you need to use expressions, time expressions. Ego, afterwards, immediately, suddenly, then, and on the board. But what it's about... Um, it's up to you okay you are free it's up to you you are going to write a chronological narrative but the important thing is using your time expressions and everybody please don't forget your homework yes um for example may maybe can help you imagine you're an explorer create a story about a place that you explore write the first thing that happens in the first box draw a picture and what happens put the event in each box and put the event in order um, for example in my story i'm walking into a cave that's the first thing that happens but later um, i can add uh, many many seconds and maybe many stories and events Okay, um, now you can start to write your chronological narrative. It's up to you, you are free about your topic, but 
important thing is using this time expressions. Okay, everybody. See you.